Happening today, county leaders considering a pay per mile driving tax. Fox has Jacqueline Sarkeesian joining us live from Kearney Mesa with details behind that proposal. Jacqueline, good morning. Hi, good morning to both of you. So you guys want to know what gets people talking early Friday morning taxes. A lot of people are not too happy about this idea. So many feel that it's just a way to punish San Diegans by taxing them out of their car. We know that we already pay some of the highest prices here to drive and then with gas prices just through the roof at this point, a lot of people have some strong opinions about taxing them per mile they drive. So take a look at some of this video. This is all being brought together by Sandag, Sandag later this this morning. If approved, it would introduce a two to six cent tax on drivers per mile on local roads. This fee would help pay for Sandak's $163 billion transportation plan, which could improve roads and possibly include free public transit for everyone. It would also serve as a replacement to the gas tax, which has been generating less revenue as drivers switch to more fuel efficient cars. At this point, Zadag is still looking into how it would track a driver's miles for the tax, but one county supervisor says this is a plan that residents simply can't afford. But I really think it's going to affect the poor. You know, the, the people that can't afford to live in San Diego County, but they work in San Diego County. And so people that drive from further out in, in the unincorporated areas where housing is more affordable or in Temecula or Murrieta where, where housing is more affordable. And we're going to be, you know, those are the people that can't afford to live here. And now where they're going to be taxed even heavier than somebody, you know, some rich person living in a high rise in downtown San Diego. Now, Sandag is meeting later this morning, 9 a.m., happening virtually. Now, nothing really will happen with this meeting. No action will be taken. But if they do decide to move forward, then there is going to be a vote on this come December. And then if that gets approved, that gas per mile tax will go into effect in year 2050. Now back to both of you in the studio.